Good morning guys, happy Monday. I am being a little quiet because Van's working upstairs, but as you can tell, Gabby's gone. New location. I honestly miss her already. We had such a good trip, but work is so fun today because I get to go through so much content from this trip. I'm not sure what today's gonna look like. All I know is I have a dentist appointment that I'm really <laughs> nervous about. I'm just like really scared of the dentist and I haven't been in a while, so. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, I'm literally just going through so much content right now, organizing the feed and kind of low-key planning August because once all of the suits launch for July takeover, we have all of August to promote them, create more content and whatnot. So I definitely have that in mind, especially since it's already July 17th. We still have two more drops in this month, especially when you're so used to planning ahead with all of this stuff, like July 17th, it's basically August in my mind. So that is where my mind is right now and trying to plan and organize just what that's gonna look like. My appointment is in like an hour and a half, so I'm going to do a little bit of work from the Starbucks in this very fancy Newport Beach shopping center. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm a little scared. <laughs> it's very obvious in my x-rays that I've not been in a while. <laughs> Why haven't you been flossing? Tell, tell the people. I started flossing. I've been flossing for one month now. <laughs> Go. All right, stay still. Um. Good morning, guys. So, teeth update from yesterday. I got eight fillings. But they were able to do it without numbing because they were so small. But I'm glad I got that out of the way. I also booked a deep cleaning, which they have to do in two sessions because it's four hours. So they'll split it in two sessions. I'll do one side and I'll do the other side a week later. And then I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed, all four of them. All of this makes me really nervous and uncomfortable. I think that's the reason. Well, I know that's the reason I haven't been to the dentist in so long because I'm just so scared of the dentist. I'm scared of feeling pain and drilling in my mouth. But I had such a good experience at this dentist. I literally told him, I'm like, you are healing my dentist PTSD with just like how professional and amazing you are. I got a little bit of work done this morning. Now I'm gonna do a little workout with this garage gym, which honestly has a lot. I got the Peloton to do my 30 minutes of cardio like I've been doing and so many weights, like so many big weights. Like 60 pounds. I don't even know if I know how to lift that. I'm gonna try to do a leg day today. I don't think I've ever even used a Peloton. So. Holy shit. So I just did 30 minutes on the Peloton. I didn't even do like a program or anything. I just like did it and kept changing the, <laughs> the meter thing. Anyways, holy shit. Good morning, happy Saturday. I feel like a little bit of a dork with this hat on. I'm literally obsessed with this Peloton. I'm not even trying to get a workout in right now. I'm just waiting for Van to get the car because we're going on a hike. This is the most American corner store I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Tree I've 
ever seen in my life. It's just like this long stick, and then he just has these little bushes. <laughs> Look at all this wild mezcal. Don't drink it. We made it! Oh my god, I wanna, I wanna swim. <laughs> Let's go swim somewhere else. Are all these bugs? Hi guys, I wanted to start this vlog saying good morning, but it's now 4.30. I'm finally getting around to my workout now. I was gonna try to do, I'll usually split the day in two, so I'll have the morning and then work out and then finish work later, but that is not what happened today. So we're gonna do a workout now. Also, we moved. <laughs> so we were staying at Van's parents, now we're at Van's house. But yeah, we got this cute little backyard. We also brought some weights and a bench. All we brought are the 15s and 25s, so I'm going to attempt to do a back and shoulder workout. So I am breaking out a little bit right now because I'm getting my period any day now, but other than this, I want to show this one product that I've been using that I honestly love and I feel like has helped clear my skin, change like the texture of my skin, so many things. Anyways, it's this Advanced Retinol Moisturizer by Clean, but I'll do one pump in the morning and then two pumps at night. Oh my god, it's so good. And it it smells so fresh like oranges. But yeah, it says age-defying solution enriched with botanical hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, green tea, and jojoba oil. But yeah, my problem when I break out for as long as I can remember is I'll get the tiniest little blackheads, little like nothing pimples, and then I just have to pick it. Or I like, can't stop myself. Just create all this drama on my face for no reason. But yeah, since I'm getting my period like any day now, in my luteal phase, I feel it so heavy today. Like, I just feel so tired. I just wanna like lay down, relax, stretch, meditate. So I think I'm gonna find a nice recipe for tonight. And then when we go grocery shopping and get all the ingredients and just cook like a really good meal. Also, if you wanna see my packing cubes in action and kind of what I was talking about, how like it allows you to unpack and not live out of a suitcase, but not fully unpack. This is what I mean. So these are my pants. They're still in the packing cube and I'm still gonna try to keep it organized so I could just close it and put it away. But everything's out and it's like I'm basically unpacked. Also, this might be very niche, but does anyone else's boyfriend buy like random skincare that they never use? So then you just steal it? Like, I swear I've seen this with this stuff this whole time and it just hasn't been opened. I just opened it. Lemongrass coconut body oil. That's amazing. So obviously it's mine now. Same with this. Also from Trader Joe's. Hyaluronic 
acid serum. I don't know why it's not focusing, but it's been part of his skincare routine for like a while now. I've never seen him actually use it, so it's mine now, obviously. So almost immediately after I ended that last clip, I got my period. It's like I knew, I literally knew I was gonna get it today, but anyways, I wanna take this opportunity because I just clicked on my app. And I wanna talk about it. So it's the app 28, it looks like that. And it tracks your period, but not only does it track your period, okay? So it lets you know what phase you're in. So four days until my period ends. It recommends specific workouts for what phase of your cycle you're in, specific meals. It also goes into deeper insights like your emotions, how you're gonna be feeling right now, your energy levels, your body. So many cute little details too that I just love. Like right here, there's a closing thought. Solitude is where I place my chaos to rest and awaken my inner peace. Period. No pun intended. I really love this app. Just like even the detail of it all, like do you see the waves? happening this app was clearly made by women obviously so in my recommended meals for dinner it says beef stew and i don't know if i want beef stew but it got me thinking so i want to try to find a nice recipe that also just has the proper like nutrients and things that i would need right now in my cycle i love being a woman so i found a fun little list on this website and the things that are speaking to me salmon sweet potato and quinoa like so simple but honestly i'm just picturing all those foods right now and that's what i want big old <laughs> that's a big one Step aside, nerd. Hi. Yeah. You know what I'm doing? One cup of quinoa, two cups of water. It's not my first rodeo of quinoa. Okay, and then we're gonna do salmon and sweet potato. Done. This is kind of a lot. So this is the salmon we got. It's honestly two really big pieces. We'll probably just split one. But the key, especially with like everything else I'm doing, sweet potatoes and the quinoa, is to cook a lot so that you don't have to cook often. <laughs> Ooh, this here would be smelling nice. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. I started vlogging today and then I realized I don't really have much going on today. It's so hot outside, but I had to come out here because it just feels so much better outside, especially sitting in front of a computer all day. It just, it's hard for me to be inside for that long. It's the fact that it's been quiet all day. And then I come outside and everyone wants to turn on their machines. But anyways, I have been using this Rise Mushroom Coffee every morning for like five six days now but my digestive system like okay how i just can't say this without being tmi i also learned this while working for a probiotics company which is if you need coffee to go to the bathroom in the morning that's not healthy so i was someone that definitely needed coffee before i could go and this is the first time in my life that i can just wake up and i have my own schedule like i said it's only been like five or six days i want to give it time but for me to already notice a huge difference in my digestion i'm gonna be honest there's a little bit of a taste 
that you have to get used to but what I've been doing is a little bit of maple syrup and froth oat milk and honestly it's fine like it's not coffee but it's fine and it's so much better for you and I'm just like scratching the surface of the benefits I will link it down below and I also have a code for 15% off I'm pretty sure so yeah I'll leave that below if you want to get on this journey with me I will keep updating the vlogs um, and you can see if it's something you want to try or not but you could also add it to your coffee like you don't have to replace your coffee if you don't want to I'm trying to replace my coffee with it but anyways I don't really know how many days are in this vlog I wanted to end the vlog here thank you so much for watching let me know if you like these vlogs if you want to see more or like want me to talk about certain things let me know I'm obviously trying to get back into my groove of vlogging and it's so funny I was like looking through all my vlogs since the beginning and like I've changed so much just in the way that I vlog so yeah it's fun to be able to just still love doing this but making it different as I grow and evolve but again i just feel like there is so many things that i want to share that's everything for today thank you for tuning in once again and i'll see you in the next one